Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is a dog with a paper bag over its head. Yeah, that's what happened. It's a game that you may not have ever heard of. I certainly never heard of it until my roommate told me about it, but this is Ghost Master. I am actually the master of many ghosts. Way more ghosts than you ever could imagine. So, I'm not exactly sure how to describe this game. It's kind of a little bit influenced by, I guess, like, The Sims, but it's also kind of a strategy game, and it's also a little bit of an RPG. But you control several ghosts, and the object is generally to scare everyone out of houses. So let's start a new game here. My name is... None of your business. But I suppose I'll tell you. I'll be congenial. There we go. That is a C, right? That looks like a G. I'm not Gross Knights. But whatever. I am known as Cross. Shouldn't have messed with the spirit world, jerks! Oh, look at this badass with the skull shirt. Clearly nothing will scare him. Yep, all of those ghosts and abilities are actually ghosts and abilities that you get in the game, which is actually really cool. The following haunters have been assigned to you. Treat them well. Okay, I will. Let's see, one, two, there's actually two ghosts that weren't shown in that intro, but all the other ones were shown. So, this is the first stage, this is the tutorial stage. Well, actually, no, this is actually the ghost mansion where I can upgrade ghosts, but I can't do that yet. First, I have to go to Haunting 101. And hopefully they'll let me turn off the tutorial really fast. Dun -da -da -da. Ghostmaster! You are ready for your field training, young Ghostmaster. We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda sorority house in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment. But scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities. All right. Before embarking upon nope. a haunting, nope. you Stop must it. select your team. Stop it. I don't want to hear you. Let me see. How do I change this? 
get our Hunting 101 tutorial off. The tutorial, if this is the first time you've played, the tutorial is useful, but it's also very annoying. It's very slow and, like, stepped and blah. The way you start any mission is to select your team, and there's a bunch of different categories. The higher up ones are more expensive, but, you know, they're better. And, of course, you see a lot of blank spots here. We're going to unlock those, but if you don't want to pick, or you want a clue of what they expect of you, just hit Recommended. Most of the time, you're good with that, to be honest. Like, they're not gonna... They're usually give you ghosts that are able to complete the job properly. So, cool. For this mission, the only one that I would say is required, if you want to do everything right, is... What is it? Cog Jammer, I think he's called. Definitely take him. Everyone else is negotiable. So let's go haunt. Drive the Kappa Lambda girls from their sorority house. So, basically the concept is, first of all, we have Plasma here. Or is it Plasmid? I don't remember. But... You can go through the different levels of the house, find people, you can find out information about each person and view them. And you go to their bios. There's actually, like, fears and subconscious fears that do more damage. Their terror bar is what causes them to run away. Once the red portion exceeds the white portion, and the white portion is their willpower, they will flee in terror from the house. And this mission, I have to get them all to flee in terror. Then we have the yellow bar, which is their madness bar. If that ever gets filled, and there's not a lot of abilities that can fill it, but if it gets filled, they'll start running around like a madman. And then the actual other humans themselves will end up scaring other people because they're acting irrationally. Then we have belief. Belief is their belief in the supernatural. People are more likely to be freaked out by ghosts and crazy stuff if they believe in them more. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, Pfft. It was just the wind. It was just the wind that made my television explode. What other rules are there? Well, first of all... Ghosts need something to exist in the physical realm, called a fetter. And there are different types of fetters that different ghosts can go into. For example, this is an emotional fetter. This is an electrical fetter. Is there any other examples? Uh, this is a... the It's a plant. It's planted in earth. That's an earth fetter. So we're gonna take old... Cog Jammer here, and bind him to an electrical fetter. There, he is now present in the physical realm. You'll notice that there's now 5 out of 100 for my plasmid. That's because he's using some of the energy in order to exist. Now, if I want him to use powers, I have to go down to powers and select one of these. The higher I go, the more plasma it uses. And you can see that number here. So, spark, strange behavior, jinx, wild, and crazy. Now, there's no one in the room right now, so I'm just going to leave that be. But let me find someone to screw with. Let's see. Where is everyone? Are they all on the top? Are they all at... Where? I can't even find anybody. Okay. Ooh, look, someone's in the room. Why don't you sit down and watch TV? No? Alright, keep on going, then. Um, hmm. I want to wait until someone's here. This one is inside. Th Boo? He can go anywhere inside. Let's have him... Rattle chains! Now they're just hearing weird noises. It's confusing. It's con really confusing to them. What's even more confusing is that water is now leaking out of the walls. That's not all that weird. What if things in the room started to fly around? That might be weird. That might be really weird. End power, kinesis. Yep, that freaked them out a little bit. Pizza boxes floating around. You notice they got scared quite a bit from that. In fact, one of them's almost gone. These guys, of course, are pretty easy to scare. Because it's the first one. Wild and crazy! Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. That's just weird, isn't it? Oh, man. Let's try... Well, now they all ran out of the house. That's disappointing. What about up here? Anyone? Oh, look at this! Hey, ladies. Note, they can't actually see the ghost. Uh, there's certain powers that can make ghosts manifest, but in general they can't see them. Swarm Strike! Makes a bunch of spiders attack someone. Uh, that's creeping them out. That is creeping them out. <laughs> spiders everywhere. Oh, you're stepping on them. Ooh. Ooh, did you get scared? Now, you'll notice that I now have 200 plasma. That's because I scared people. You get more plasma by scaring people. 
And if someone runs away from the house, you got a permanent plasma boost. Also, if you're not scaring people, like, you're constantly losing plasma. So she's gone. She has an X through her because she left the house. The other thing is that there are bound spirits, such as this lovely lass. It'd be a different matter if I got free, mind you. I'd whip up a storm to wake the dead! <laughs> so now I need to use that information in order to help this ghost, and if I free her, she will be mine. So she just told me that she's stuck to a vacuum cleaner. So let me put my electrical ghost here. And, I don't know, wild and crazy will probably work. This is a, like, status bar. Like, it, once it fills up, he'll use that ability. The spark might work. Hmm. Oh, the other really important thing is that even though a ghost is chained, you can, well, blah, blah, blah. You can't click on them, but you click on them here, go to their powers, and you can use their powers. So if I wanted to use fog, I can use it. The only thing is that since she's bound, I can't move her around and stuff. No, so Spark isn't going to work, is it? Wild and Crazy should cause the vacuum cleaner to short out. So, he'll use it when he's ready. Let me go on with scaring people. I do need to scare them all before, uh... I need to free her before I scare them all. Or else I won't get her and I'll have to come back here. Telekinetic Storm! That's right. You're weirded out. So, let me see. Alright, so she's gone. <laughs> she just got scared to death. Yeah, they're all pretty much freaking out. Now, when you use a power, they will also use all of the powers below it, unless you tell them not to with an order. So you need to be aware of that. Oh, Fright is good. Fright just is a straight-up, like, power that just makes people scared. It just, like, shoots terror at them. Ooh, and Taste Aura. That's a cool one. Okay, I need to be careful now. Just a second. There we go. Wait, what? Is she free? I don't think... Good. Excellent. She is now mine. And she's actually a great ghost. I use her a lot. So I was going to say we should slow down because I'm about to scare everybody, but we don't need to now. She has something... I'm a little bit confused, but there's, there's certain places that she can go and other places that she can't. I don't really get all of it. But generally, she can go outside. There's a few places inside she can go. And she's running away. Uh, ooh. You're in here. You're right next to me. Let's try... Oh, there's nothing I can do. He's used up all of his powers. So instead... Oh, you're running away? Where are you going to go to? Where are you going to go to? Let's try numb. Bam. She can't move for a little bit. Which is good, because I'm going to try to drop a spider on her head. Swarm Strike! No, she's going upstairs! Don't let her get away! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Ha-ha! She's done for. Only one left now. Let's try... Hide and Seek! No. You're still gonna... Like, sometimes you have to end a power for a new one to start. Look! So, now that he was no longer glowing for a second, that means he physically manifested. He was... She was able to physically see him. Yes, come over here. It'll be great for you. Siren Song! Siren Song makes people run towards the person who's doing Siren Song. And it's working on her now. You can see by the rift above her head. But is there anything I can use to scare her with, now that she's close? I could use gusts, I guess, but I think that, yeah. And no, I have a lot of power now. I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can have all my ghosts on max power. Yeah, come in. Come inside. I got something to show you. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Kinesis! All right, end power, kinesis. That should do it. That's right, flying microwave. How you like that? 
<laughs> she don't like it. Well, the fact that she's not running away in terror is actually kind of... There we go. There we go! That's all she rode. Dun, dun, dun. Another cool thing? POV. You can see the world through her eyes. It's kind of annoying, though, because of the heavy breathing never stops, but what are you going to do? And that's it. Haunting complete. Now, you get extra points based on how you scare people, how fast you scare people, explosions. Uh, what matters is that you get these gold plasma. It's based on the first three numbers of whatever score you get. So the better you do, the more experience you get to upgrade your ghost. So it behooves you to be awesome. And if you rescue a chain spirit, you always get a pretty big bonus. So that's cool. Uh, hunters, that's going to come in later. For the first chapter, I'm not going to have to worry about hunters. After that, it could be a problem. There could be things that would damage my success rate and my ability to get a good score. But you're also rated on screams, which happen constantly. Shocks. Oh, what is this? It scares, screams, shocks, faints, paranoia, super paranoia, fleas, and insanity. You get the most for driving people insane, but as I said, it's actually pretty hard to drive people insane in this game. So now we move on to the next one. For this episode, I'm going to be doing two missions. Uh, for a bunch of the other ones, I'm probably only going to be doing one mission, because some of them take a pretty long time to do. But the first mission, pretty easy. It's just a tutorial. And a new haunting has opened up. Weird science. Or, I could go to this one. You actually get to choose. One or the other. I, however, am going to choose the one that involves another college. Because scaring college students is fun. The thing is, this loads so fast, I've never been able to read those, but now that I'm recording, I can finally read them. Smug and irritating youths of the Alpha Tau fraternity mock the supernatural and do not respect the dead. One desires that they be made to experience the full power of the spirit world. And now, an opportunity has arisen. As the young mortals gather for a party, Three socially maladjusted individuals are attempting a seance in the basement. The members of the fraternity believe they are tuning up their generator, not calling upon the spirit world. They are opening the door. You must not disappoint them. Everyone must be driven away in terror. Then they will know the true power of the supernatural. Oh, uh, will do, buddy. Will do. Recommended. So I think... Let me see. Alright, Shivers. Hmm. I kind of want... Huh. I. Oh, by the way, requirement? Her. Uh, who is this? I think... Yeah. She's air outside. She has an ability called Shatter Song that you're gonna want. But do I actually want to completely listen to them? I don't really need Boo. What if I replace Boo with the Weather Witch? I think that'll do. Let's rock this. Drive the Alpha Tau fraternity from their frat house. All right. So first order of business. Well, first let me let me. Are you? Ooh, a party's going on. That's fun. But I wasn't invited, was I? Violence. Is there any? Hmm. Please tell me I can place someone here. You know what? I shouldn't have gotten rid of Boo. He could have come here and scared all of them. So instead... I'm just gonna talk to him real quick. You would think being chucked up for illegal research would be enough indignity. Without kids stealing all that's left of me. This jar's lid isn't as snug as those I'm accustomed to. If you break me out, I'll help you create quite a spectacle. Down in front! Alright, now I can use his powers, so let's see if he has anything. Ghostly... Oh, I don't have enough to use the Ghostly Apparition. Let's use Icy Touch. Frozen! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's actually really easy to break out, so let's do that first. You just bind her outside. And I don't have enough plasma to use her yet, so... I need to start scaring some peoples. I really should have kept Boo. I have, like, only high-level people right now. And that's not good. But this should start it off a little bit. Fright! 
Fright is great because it just makes multiple people afraid. <laughs> and that just gives you more plasma straight up. So now I know one of his... Oh, his fairy's buried alive. I don't think I have anyone that can do that. Actually, I do, don't I? I just can't put him on inside. So numb. I don't have enough for telekinetic storm or anything, though. Let's see. What about you? What is this? Is this... This is... Oh, violence also works here. Let me put you back on the bench. And Ghastly is a really... He's a big hitter, like, powerful ghost. He has some crazy abilities. Dread! Oh, that gave me a lot. That gave me a decent plasma chunk. That is excellent. Dominate's a pretty funny power. You dance! <laughs> Ooh, you gonna use the, uh, this thing? Oh, hello. I lucky. And this lucky's beeping table. Table usually warm and safe. But sometimes table zaps lucky, which lucky not lie. Table only zaps when two-legged things play well, though. And two-legged things not play so well no more. Yeah, so in order to Lucky. get him, I actually need to screw him over with his own power, which is actually kind of funny. He has an ability that makes people more lucky. So I just use charm. Oh, alright. Let's put you away. Let's put you away, too. Come on, before he leaves. Powers, charm. There, now he's more lucky. Beeping table not warm and safe at all. Perhaps Lucky will play with you until next nap time. I don't use Lucky all that much, but he's interesting. It's an electrical fetter thing. So what Charm does is, like, you would think, like, being more lucky wouldn't do anything, but it starts to make people believe in the supernatural more because they're having supernatural luck. So that's how that works. So I actually have two of the three ghosts already. That's a good start. The last one is right here. Hey dude, like what do you call it when my three geekazoid friends hold a seance for me? Nerdromancy! Hey! I killed me, man! And that dumb hazing stunt the Alpha Towers put me up to was suicide! I need payback on the leader, man. Make like Linda Blair and set his head a spinning. So I need to scare this guy away from the house, and then I'll have him. So all I need to do is make sure I don't scare him last, and I'll get him. He's actually a really easy ghost to unlock, Wendell is. So now that I have Lucky, I can bind him to other electronics. And then do things like strange behavior. And no one's there to watch me being awesome, so that's unfortunate. Now you, how much plasma do you need for Shatter Scream? I don't have quite enough, I need 120. So I need to do some more scaring. Let's put you back here. Ooh, Terror Incarnate's a great power, but I don't have enough. Can I use Dread? Oh, yes. Don't use that. Use... Oh, I... she did use Dread. Alright. Yeah, Bitter Cold, whatever. Bitter Cold is something that makes a persistent area of effect that makes mortals uncomfortable. It's just cold in here. It's just freaking cold, and they don't know why, and it weirds them out. So on a side note, I should have kept Boo. He would have been more useful here. Yeah, but I didn't want to. And I don't have to do anything I don't want! Uh-oh. That little Pulse thing is actually the only way you can lose, usually. Besides scaring away someone you're not supposed to. I was using too much power, and if you use too much power, you get kicked out of the physical realm. But alright, emotional. Probably because people have had sex on that couch. Fright! Man, oh good, I did get two people. Excellent. Taste Aura, what is that? Oh, Darkness! Interesting. I wonder if Lucky has cut lights. I don't think she does, though. He does? Oh my god, he has cut lights. Stay here. Stay here. I'm gonna show you your worst fears and it'll be awesome. Cut lights! There. <laughs> yeah, he took extra fear damage from that because I played on his emotions. Fright! Oh yes! That was huge. That hit a lot of people. Oh god. And he's afraid of fire, but I don't think I can use fire. Let's bench you. Bind you, because there's a lot of people here. I want to take advantage of abilities. And... No, not bitter cold, you idiot. I didn't tell you to do that. See, now they all left, because you had to make things cold. Whatever. I now have more than enough power to use Shatter Scrim. Bind. Let's move you down a power level. 
Shatter song. Oh, that's so much better. That thick glass was playing havoc with my vision. The first time I got him, I actually couldn't find him, and I just got him by using that power by accident, and I just had him after that. <laughs> I didn't even know he was there. So he has murder, so that's there's not a lot of times that you can bind someone to something that has murder, and I just scared some away. Awesome. But this is murder, violence, and emotional. It's a deer head. The deer was murdered. <laughs> there you go. So let me see. Air outside. Whatever. Oh, the best way, and I should have done this earlier. The best way to get a lot of plasma early on is to go down here. There's a... I mean, what is this? Is that a... Oh, it's a mouse trap. Okay, I see. Bind. It binds them right in the middle of the seance. Now I have to make sure that I use it. I want to use this. So I have almost enough plasma. I don't want to screw this up. It needs to be right the first time. This is emotion. Okay, I can probably get enough by doing this. There's a lot of people in here. Oh, please tell me you're powered up. Uh, Alright, just use numb. Whatever. Fright. Use fright before they leave. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Let's bench you. Please tell me I have enough. This will be great. Terror incarnate! I've manifested. No, stop showing people running away. <laughs> it's excellent. If you do that, it instantaneously frightens away all three of them, and you get a huge plasma boost. So yeah, I've pretty much won. I can do what I want now. I'm not going to be restricted by powers nearly as much. So let's find you again. I wish it would I don't know if I can turn that off, but it repeatedly shows, like, everyone running away, which is actually kind of annoying. Like, the sound would be enough. They don't need to actually show me. I'll see if I can turn that off. I don't think you can, though. Telekinetic Storm! Oh, wow, all the cups are flying around and everything. So many pizza boxes. It's like people in college only eat pizzas. So that's a person who lives in a college town, and there's like 11 pizza places here, and it's not a big town. It's all pizza and ramen. That's all there is to eat. That is all there is to eat. So that scared a lot, let me see here. Excellent. Now this is the guy I need to scare. Oh, and I forgot, I can actually use his power to scare him, so... No, you be quiet. You can't click on them in order to use their powers if they're bound. You have to click on their uh, profile over here in the corner. Laughter. Let's try... Oh, I can't actually use... He has certain powers that involve him walking around, so I can't use those, of course. But he's not even scared. He needs to leave this room for me to do something. Or does he? Scream! And he just revealed his fear. There we go. We got him on the run now. Let's see, electronics. Any electronics up here? How are there no electronics on this entire floor? That's crazy to me. Oh well. Let me see here. Ah, oh, he's still not scared. I need to scare him. He's all stoic. Everyone's running around and he's like, eh, whatever. Now he's afraid of fire, if I remember correctly. No one has fire yet. You don't get that till like a lot later, so unfortunately I can't use that to scare him. But if he would just walk downstairs, then maybe. Let's try Fascinate. Fascinates makes nearby mortals fascinated with your fetter, so if you want to lure them into some crazy trap, for example, you might use it. It's being affected on him, him, and him. Yeah, let's lure him into a crazy trap. Telekinetic Storm! I just scared, like, everybody in the house. Bind. Luck Storm! Luckstorm makes some people lucky, some people unlucky. Weird crap happens to them all around. It's kinda great. I'm doing a good job at staring everyone but Ted. <laughs> but that bastard dooms. In the early stages, they actually tell you about the fears. It says fire makes them very nervous. Oh, he's coming downstairs. Ghostly apparition. Alright. Let me wait for him to get a bit closer. And fascinate. Ghostly apparition. Got him. That scared him. Use Fright. 
Stop, stop shaking and use fright. This ghost is called Shivers, by the way. He constantly shakes because he's crazy. He's a crazy ghost. Yeah! You run. You run and you die. Well, you don't need to die. If you die, I can't scare you as much. And my ghost upstairs is playing the fake bagpipes. The ethereal bagpipes. Mirror, water, water. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he has bad luck, so he turned off lights and it zapped him. <laughs> also, I have this earth ghost. I don't, I don't know what he's really going to do from out there, though, but... He can make tremors and stuff, which is kind of cool, I guess. Tremors are actually pretty important. They, uh, they shake certain things loose. So there's a bunch of ghosts that you can get by using tremors. Is that Ted? That's not Ted. Where are you, Teddy? Ted's almost scared to death, fortunately. <laughs> and we got my, uh, shattering scream going, creeping out everybody. And crazy bagpipes. Yeah, they're all... I can't do as much upstairs. I wish they would all come downstairs. Though I guess I can make that happen again, because Fascinate's probably ready again, isn't it? It is! Everybody, this deer head is amazingly interesting! There's great stories about this deer head. You better go... Ah, I got him! <laughs> now it don't matter. I just need him to run away, and my good friend Nerdy Ghost will be free. You also get... Oh, Swallow's a great skill. I'd love to show that. Let's see if I can bind him in a place where people are running. Swallow! Oh, I think they have to be on Earth. It actually makes them sink into the Earth, which is great. Let's bind you to this stove. You can catch people who are running in that door next time. Put you up on the highest plasmid. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Bench you. Bench you. Bind you. And uh, a bunch of people are running away. Did you see the look on that jack dinosaur's face? Priceless man. Definitely worth dying for. Victory! Now he's actually useful because he can go anywhere inside, because he's a nerd. He just works inside. So I can just put him to like cock block people. Chase is a good power. I need him to get closer though. Why don't you come inside? Come inside. Oh, here we go. Terror incarnate! Yeah, come on. Look. Look over here. Look. Oh, oh, he missed it. He freaking missed it. I did it too early. Dread! There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Chase you around the house. Excellent. He's going outside. Slow makes them run slower, which is pretty cool. And it looks like I used Swallow on someone, but I didn't notice. So that's a shame. Let's see. Bind right here. Now you can creep people out out here. When the music starts playing like this, that means you're pretty close to the end. People are getting scared to death. Or at the very least, to running. There we go. That is such a powerful ability, Terror Incarnate. <laughs> like, suddenly seeing this fat man with a hook hand split his head open for some reason creeps people out. I don't know why. Brief scare. You couldn't run fast enough. Where are you? You're outside. Swallow anyone? And I don't mean the bird. Yes, come back here. Come back close to my earth friend. Why don't you step on... What do you, oh, I haven't used her at all, have I? That's negligence. There, he's stuck in the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Thunderclap! Yeah, some people are actually freaked out by bad weather, and Thunderclap can keep on going, so they'll just continually be freaked out. Well, I'd say this was a pretty successful haunting, and a successful seance. Good job, guys. <laughs> you can see his breath, because it's really cold in here. Well, he's, uh, he's not okay anymore. 
He's the only one that hasn't been really scared. Alright. I need to show you special attention, apparently. Okay, I've cut out a bunch because I've been chasing this jerk around for seriously like 10 minutes. He keeps on dodging all of my ghosts. Oh, I just got him. Like, really, I would have beaten this like five, five minutes ago, but I've been just chasing him. <laughs> so as soon as he flees, the fact that I'm a ghost master will be quite apparent. Run! Excellent. So I just got a whole bunch of points for rescuing all of those ghosts. Or freeing them or whatever. It's hard to say rescuing a ghost. It's not like I'm saving their life or anything. But I am saving their own life. Bam! I did not get any rank. You know what? If I didn't have to chase that one guy around, I might have gotten a rank. I don't know. I might have. Not that ranks matter. The only thing matters is your score. And I got an okay score. dun da da, -da. So, on the next exciting episode of Ghostmaster... I will go here. The Calamityville Horror. This stage has a bunch of ghosts that are actually... A few of them are pretty hard to figure out how to get, but I know how to get them. I want to try to get all of the ghosts. In my first playthrough, I did not get all the ghosts. I figured I'll get them all now. Unless they're really annoying. But if, if they are, I, I guess I'll end up looking up how to get them. But I don't like doing that if I can at all avoid it. It's more fun to try to figure it out yourself. But, you know. Whatever. Anyway, I am Cross Knights, the Ghost Master. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.